Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the homestead. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a little introduction to uh, a semi-new addition to the property, to the homestead. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so here it is. It's a little uh, Suzuki XL7, uh, 2004. Got a decent amount of cargo space in there. But um, the reason why we wanted to get it, uh, there's actually several reasons. Uh, one is because it was four-wheel drive, because you know we needed a four-wheel drive out here on the property and driving on these country roads and in the winter time there's lots of snow. And uh, it also gets much, much better gas mileage than the truck over there. You can see the back end of it. Um, and so we need to figure out some way to save you know a little bit of money instead of putting you know six seven hundred dollars worth of gas into that beast we can actually put you know fill the tank in this and pretty much cut it in half unless we actually have money to do other things because we were completely broke you know weren't able to put money aside weren't able to you know make ends meet basically so we got this <clears throat> it's doing pretty well so far and you kind of want to come over here hey truck how you doing and we're going to show you one of the other big reasons why we got it all right see here's our driveway uh we haven't done much of anything to it and you know this year all we do is just kind of cut it in <clears throat> get rid of a bunch of the rocks there's still some rocks out there that we do need to dig up but um haven't laid down any gravel or anything like that so when it gets wet it gets really soupy and muddy for most of the winter well i shouldn't say most of the winter since january we've been uh parking at the end of the driveway just because we're so nervous about driving on it and all you know, the snow and the mud we just recently this last week ended up being able to drive on it but i'm gonna go over here this here's the old driveway. Before we cut that one in, this actually goes to the neighboring property. But there was one morning, going to work in the truck, this is before we got the car, I didn't want to go on that other driveway because I already cleared it, cleared out all the, uh, all the roots and the, you know, the, basically all the topsoil, all the plants, all the roots, everything that would give it some kind of structure you know some actual stiffness to be able to support a vehicle when it got wet so one morning and decided you know it was too muddy you know didn't want a chance driving the truck down it so we ended up driving down this one thinking that it'd be you know strong enough to support the weight of the truck wouldn't get stuck i made it clear out over here that there's the uh the road that we're on almost home free and then this happened yes got stuck and what happened is i just i lost momentum well probably the first first problem was that it was just muddy as crap but uh basically i lost a little bit of momentum and the front tire went up over this little bump and just didn't quite make it and it was just enough that the back tire started to slip. There's one tire there, there's the other tire where it got stuck. And, but luckily, I was leaving for work at just the right time and a neighbor came by with their truck and ended up yanking me out. So I got really lucky there. Or else the truck would be, you know, stuck there for who knows how long. Oh. And we got some some prints on the property got some deer maybe you know, a little bit small to be elk but anyways once that happened that was kind of the final straw i mean we were tired of paying a bunch of money to just drive the truck back and forth an hour each way like i was saying it was close to 700 dollars a month the gas prices were high but still I mean, you know, we just needed to needed something better so we ended up getting the car, you know, it gets twice the gas mileage. 
or close to twice the gas mileage. It's you know, a couple miles to Gallon short. So we were able to save money there. We were able to uh, make the payments on it. We refinanced the truck in order to get the car. And uh, I wanted either a, a pickup or a little SUV because I wanted to be able to put stuff in the back and have it stay dry. You know, maybe a, a truck with a canopy might have been a better thought, but I'm perfectly happy. And that's the story behind why we wanted to get the car, or SUV, I just call it a car. I suppose the only downside is, you can see the top, can't really haul a whole lot. You know, we're going to be building a pallet shed this year. So any OSB, any, you know, scrap wood materials, pallets, you know, I'm trying to get as much as possible. I mean, you know, that right there is the only downside. You know, it's not enough to put a, a full sheet of plywood or OSB in the back. But it's working out. You know, really enjoy driving it. You know, it's not the, the nicest vehicle in the world, but, you know, it does the job. And I really like it, so... Anyways, um, that's this video. If you guys like the content and you know want to you know keep updated please subscribe and hit the notification button give us a thumbs up on the video and we'll talk to you again later